Good morning, everybody. We are here live at the UFDC 68th National Convention in Orlando, Florida, and we are in the booth of Gail Lemon of All Dolled Up on Ruby Lane, and she is here live in the sales room. We are about to open in 15, 20 minutes, and we are going to give you guys a tour of her booth. Gail is standing behind us. Gail, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we, this is a, a wonderful booth. The last time that we did a video with you was at NADA, which was incredible. But you have about five times as much inventory here. Probably, yes. She has a wonderful big double booth. And it is chock full of some fabulous things. So we are going to give you guys a highlight, not even a highlight, a first stage pass to everything that she has in her booth. So if you guys see something that you absolutely have to have, then you just contact Gail. We are going to link to her shop in our video. And she just has some wonderful, wonderful things. Gail, what are some of your top picks of the day? What are some of the things that you deep six just for this show that are just coming out right now? These character girls right here, they're all early 20s um, from cartoon and movie character dolls. Very hard to find composition dolls. Those are extremely hard to find composition yes. dolls. I have never seen these dolls in my entire life. This is Colleen Moore. Yes, this is uh, the first one there is Ella Cinders as she was portrayed by Colleen Moore in the movie Ella Cinders. Look at that. Just wonderful. The next one there is little Annie Rooney as portrayed by Mary Stewart. And both of those first two movies were from the 20s, silent movies. Did these three dolls come from the same collection? No, they did not. Wow, they, they are uh, a very like uh, condition and quality. The Myrtle there was from a, a early 30s. Comic strip. Just wonderful, and I love how you have the comic strip with them and the, and the movie cards with them, so that people can see what they looked like and, and what they where they came from. That those are phenomenal. And on the back of the cards, I do have some information about each doll. So. Great. Well, thank you for going that extra mile. Of course, we have the the iconic Dewey's Cochran on the cover of Life Magazine. Wait, did I say that right? Yeah. When did Dewey's Cochran uh, switch from, it was latex to more of the composition? Well, she did the American Children when she was uh, working for F&B. Right, she designed them. They were actually produced by F and B. Carrie Collins just tuned in and said, "Love Mary Pickford movies." <laughs> now this is Bright Star, which often gets confused with Shirley Temple. Right, this was Horseman's Answer. version to compete with Shirley Temple. Do you find that uh, there are collectors out there who just collect the Bright Star version and not the Shirley Temple? Not normally. Not normally. Not, unless they're horsemen collectors. Mm -hmm. Or just strictly collecting horsemen. If you guys are just tuning in live, we are here with Gail Lemon of All Dolled Up on Ruby Lane. We have a lot of people tuning in. If you see something in our video, we are live, that you want me to get a little bit closer in or ask Gail a question, we are very fortunate. She is standing right behind us and can answer any of those questions. We are going to give you the, high, the, the tour of her booth. And of course, you can contact her through her Ruby Lane shop if you see something you absolutely have to have, which I see very many things that fit that profile. Earlier we were talking about these wonderful K-Star art characters. Just phenomenal. It's a little hard to see with the light bear with us, but these are UFDC. It looks like uh, Peter won his ribbon right here, third place. This is a flocked hair K-Star R character by Kamer and Reinhardt, known as Peter. And this is Gretchen. They are the same mold, correct? Actually, it's it, this is 
Marie. Yeah. Oh, this is Peter, Marie. Peter and Marie, they're the same mold. Peter and Marie are the same mold. Okay, yeah. Gretchen's the more pouty. She's yes. the one, 114. Yes. Okay. Just, just wonderful. Uh -huh. If you guys like German character dolls, this Peter is uh, just wonderful, again, with the flogged hair, and he is also a fabulous price. He is a, I feel like uh, German characters are a great thing to buy all of the time, but especially right now, good time to snap them up. These, this is fantastic. I did, Do you have this set on Ruby Lane? I think you might. I think I do, yes I do. Wonderful. I was told by a doll enthusiast this morning to uh, pan a little bit slower and let's talk more dolls. Well. <laughs> so I'm happy to oblige. The public has spoken. The public has spoken. Look at this wonderful set. It's hard for me not to talk though because we are just seeing some of the most wonderful, uh, fabulous examples of everything in this room. Gail, who are these made by? The, the, the dwarves, dwarves. Mm -hmm. and this Snow White here are Knickerbocker. It would go as a set. The Snow White in the middle is ideal, and the first one you were videoing is Madame Alexander. So you have three manufacturers of Snow White there. Look at that. So we have three different Snow Whites in the box and this wonderful set of the Seven Dwarves made by Knickerbocker. Just wonderful. Gail has a little bit of everything. At the Nada show you, you start to uh, more of the vintage and, and now I'm seeing a lot more of your wonderful antique. Uh, we Oh, we have to get a peek at this Gibson girl up here right before we move on. The Gibson girl and this one Kessner bride, just wonderful. If you guys are tuning in and you are coming on uh, Friday on public day, Gail, what is the, what is your post number this year? Uh, 522. 522, make a beeline over to 522, but you know, if you see something that you absolutely have to have, you can buy it before Public Day and just call Gail. <laughs> Come and pick it up. Here's some wonderful Bisque Babies. We have some people tuning in telling us how wonderful your dolls are from the French Riviera. Thank so, you. yes. <laughs> that Is that the Mind Liebling? Yeah. Okay. Really? Wow. Look at that. Fabulous condition on her body as well. Mein Liebling is my darling. Right? Pretty sure. My darling. Now this sweet toddler right here is known as Hilda's sister. Hilda's sister. Do you have any idea how, how she got the, the Hilda sister? Is it just because she sort of looks like Hilda? I think so. Okay. A lot of people mistake her for the Hilda toddlers. Cheryl Cat said, hi Gail and Rachel, love your dolls and the slow pan and love the talking, don't stop chatting. We love to hear about the amazing dolls that Unita Bisquick Biscuit? Biscuit. Biscuit is super cute. Which one is that? You need a biscuit boy is over here. You need a biscuit boy. This was a you need an advertising. Oh, look at that. Uh, early version of Nabisco with his original little box. And I, we have the date on the ticket there. 1914. It's a very early combo. Wonderful. And did he have his little biscuit box with him or did yes. you have to find that? No, Look that, at that. I, I got him with it. 
tag on his sleeve. He almost looks like a show and hut. Mm -hmm. He is so neat. Just turn him around so everyone can see him. This good boy. And thank you for your comment, Cheryl. You were not the one who um, said, let's talk more dolls. <laughs> There's a fantastic Kathy Cruz right here. This is the SFBJ. Is this a twerp? That's twerp. That's twerp. That's her. One thing I'm going to have to study up on myself is um, people have been asking me, well, how did they get the name twerp? And where, where do these names come from? That I don't know. Exactly. I say, I don't know. I they, they just, they're just called twerp. <laughs> a lot of times you find it's how they advertise the dog too. Right, okay. Point, you know, they tagged them and it was mm -hmm. passed on. It just but caught on. Documented where people really. Is there somebody it. inside this wonderful this, box? That's her box. Oh, that is her box. That's okay. her box. And this is, she's kind of unusual in that she has like the mask face rather than the felt face. Hmm. Well, that is very unusual. If you guys are tuning in, we are here live with Gail Lemon. She is the. I came in late. Can you repeat Gail's full name or Ruby Lane shop? And thanks for the slower pan. Uh, this, we are here with Gail Lemon. She has the Ruby Lane shop all dolled up. So if you want to get in contact with her, just go to rubylane.com and you can start typing in the search box all dolled, D-O-L-L-E-D. -L -L -E Let's get your card and put it in front, dolled up. And it'll bring up her shop. But of course, as soon as we're off this live feed, I'm gonna to link to it straight in the video. So for Deborah Olson, who just asked that question, here is her information. You can actually call her or email her right off that phone number. Mm -hmm. Gail has some wonderful uh, accessories and clothes. That is one thing that if you find uh, that a dealer has to offer it's certainly a treasure because a lot of dealers uh, hoard their clothes they do not sell them because they hold them for the next doll that they have coming along and oftentimes these accessories clothes shoes things like this are some of the hardest pieces to add to your collection and find for your dolls so check this out wonderful assortment of shoes earrings, which are also hard to find, and outfits. Somebody just said, really enjoying this video. Great introduction to an amazing dealer. Thank you. We are so happy to be here with Gail. She is one of our uh, most active dealers and she always has the most wonderful things all dolled up on ruby lane she is from grafton ohio so once this video publishes to our page you guys can uh, zoom in back and forth kind of rewind uh, pause on certain things that you absolutely love and then you can even send a screenshot to Gail and say, hey, can you give me a little more information on this? Or I would like to purchase this, please. We have a shipping department right here in Orlando. Gail, thank you so much for having us. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your show. Thank you. Bye-bye.